FIFA World Cup reaches the business end. Croatia stunned favorites Brazil to reach the World Cup semi-finals on Friday, winning 4-2 on penalties after a nail-biting last eight tie that finished 1-1 at the end of extra time. Marquinhos missed the crucial spot kick in the shootout, hitting the post when he had to score to keep Brazil in it after Rodrigo's earlier attempt had been saved by goalkeeper Dominic Livakovic and Croatia converted all four penalties. It was a remarkable turnaround after Brazil had looked set for victory when Neymar opened the scoring with a wonderful strike midway through extra time that allowed him to equal Pele's Brazilian record of 77 international goals. The victory means Croatia have set up a semi-final tie with Argentina who beat the Netherlands 4-3 on penalties following a thrilling 2-2 extra time draw on the night of high World Cup drama. Argentina goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez was the hero of the shootout after the South Americans let a two-goal lead slip in the final minute of normal time after Lionel Messi put them on the brink of the last four. Wout Weghorst scored two dramatic late goals, the second from a remarkably inventive free kick in the 11th minute of stoppage time as the Netherlands fought back with seven minutes of normal time remaining to force extra time. Morocco became the first African nation to reach the World Cup semi-finals as Yusuf and Nesri's first half goal sealed a tense 1-0 victory over Portugal on Saturday at the Al Thumama Stadium. The Atlas Lions, also the first Arab team to make the last four, added Portugal to their list of European scalps with a resolute second half performance. All eyes though were on Cristiano Ronaldo who has likely played his last World Cup match after making an ineffectual appearance as a second half substitute, failing to score his first knockout phase goal at the tournament. Olivier Giroud scored the winner and Harry Kane missed a late penalty as holders France beat England 2-1 in a tense World Cup quarter-final. Aurelien Chouameni had swept France into a first-half lead only for Kane to equalise from the spot nine minutes into the second half. England were the better side for long stretches of the game at Albaid Stadium but almost from nowhere, France went back into the front when Giroud headed home with 11 minutes left and Harry Kane missed his second penalty of the game, sealing defending champions' progression to the semi-finals where they will face Morocco. A consolidation win for India. Ishan Kishan and Virat Kohli powered India to a massive 227-run win over Bangladesh in the third ODI at Zahur Ahmed Chaudhry Stadium. Kishan scripted history with a magnificent double century, while Kohli smashed a ton to get his groove back as India posted a mammoth 409 for 8. The Indian bowlers also put up a collective effort to bundle out Bangladesh for just 182. It was only a consolation win though for the men in blue as Bangladesh clinched the series after winning the first two ODIs. Smriti Mandana secures famous win. Smriti Mandana dazzled in regulation time as well as the super over to script a famous win for India against the mighty Australia in a high-scoring second women's T20I international on Sunday. Talia McGrath and Beth Mooney tore into the Indian bowling attack with the belligerent knocks to power Australia 187 for 1 after the visitors were asked to bat in front of a packed D.Y. Patel Stadium. India were able to take the match right down the wire after a whirlwind 76-run opening wicket and stand between Smriti 79 of 49 and Shifali Verma 34 of 23. Paddy Pimblet under fire from fans. UFC 282 held at Las Vegas, Nevada, saw some controversial calls and even more controversial decisions. Two of the main card fights, namely the main event, Jan Blachowicz vs. Magomed and Ankalev, and the co-main event, Paddy the Baddy Pimblet vs. Jared Gordon. The main event ended in a draw as Blachowicz and Ankalev were competing for the currently vacant light heavyweight championship. In the co-main event, Paddy Pimblett scored the most important victory of his professional MMA career on US soil with a unanimous decision victory over Jared Gordon. The decision, however, was met with outroar from fans and members of the MMA community alike, with many fighters from the roster taking to social media, expressing their disappointment and disbelief at the result. Some even claim that this is where the hype train ends for Paddy Pimblett who has been a sensation among the fans so far in his UFC journey.